Hi, and welcome to Word. Please open the document Word Lesson 3, Frozen Treats. So there is information already typed in there for you, and as you can see, it has a main title. If you're curious on the font size, just click anywhere on the line, and you can see the type font that I used and the size, and then you can check to see any other font um, choices that I made and sizes. So underneath ice cream, you have five flavors. And I want to repeat the same flavors under frozen yogurt, under milkshakes, and under smoothies. So what we're going to learn here in this assignment is copy and paste. So I'd like to open on the home tab the clipboard pane over on the left hand side. So I'm going to click this little dialog box and it opens it all up. I'm going to clear because I had a lot of things open so that it's fresh, nothing's in there. Uh, the clipboard can hold up to 24 items in here and you'll get a scroll bar to scroll through it. So any th time that you cut something um, on either by using the scissors or um, control X, it'll be stored in your clipboard. If, for example, so I'll show you one, let's say I get rid of chocolate, so I'm going to double click it and I choose cut. It goes right in here in case I ever wanted to get it back or I can't remember what it was, at least I would have it visible in the clipboard. If I were to double click and not use the cut, or if you can see, see the shortcut, Control X, if I actually press the delete key on the keyboard, it will delete it, but I don't get to see, preview it to see what was that. So it's best to use cut. Um, otherwise, um, I mean, right now I can because I just, just did it. I can use undo, but if it was something that you did a while ago and you don't, um, you don't want undo stuff that you've already just um, repeated or fixed so um, undo will you'll lose a lot of things so it's not it's best to use the clipboard so I'm gonna clear it off so I'm starting fresh and I'm gonna select very carefully vanilla make sure I start whoops vanilla to peanut butter do not take the space under peanut butter just to the end of peanut butter but before I copy it I would like it in alphabetic order so on the home tab in the paragraph group, there is an A to Z, which is sort. I'll select that. And what it's going to do is sort by paragraph, which means by individual line, which is exactly what I want. It is text and I want it in ascending order. So go ahead and click OK. So you should have chocolate first and then it's in alphabetic order. Now I'm ready to copy. So I'll click the copy button or I can do control C. Then I'll click to where I want the new location. So I click under frozen yogurt. I can just click this little yellow clipboard to paste or see the shortcut is control V or I can click right in here. So I'll go under milkshakes. I can do the same thing. I can click this to insert it or I can click this and choose paste or I can click this and choose paste or I can tr control V or one more. Make sure you want it, control V. Um, some people like to go underneath where you want it right click and then choose paste and um, there's three different pastes so you want to make sure that you choose the one that'll keep the source formatting so the way that the source was originally formatted you'd want that and you can see the difference you wouldn't want it to change it to any other font so the first one and there you have it so um, I didn't have to retype anything it's an alphabetic order and I have it at the categories under each of the items so if I were to go to view and check this out on one page, you'll notice that it's down an inch, but there's an extra space at the end. So it's not centered vertically on the page. Now you could come up to the top and manually press returns to push it down. But if you were to add any information, it would throw it off. The best way to do it is click layout in the page setup dialog box. Click this little dial diagonal arrow. And usually you're in your margins, which are top, bottom, left, right, are one inch is fine. Paper, you never change the paper size, eight and a half by 11. Click the third tab, layout, and go to vertical alignment. It's set at the top, which is that one inch top margin. Change it to center, and then OK. And it centers it perfectly in the middle of the page. I'm going to close the clipboard pane, and I just want to show you a couple other features if you wanted to um, have this. Uh, more vis visibly appearing. I'm going to go to design and I'm going to choose page borders and in page border tab there's an uh, area called art and if you click in this there's a lot to choose from but I happen to like the ice cream to go with the ice cream cone. They're a little bit small so I'm going to change the width of them. The highest it'll go is 31 points and then I'll click OK 
and it takes the entire border of the page. And then just to dress it up a little more, I'm going to choose a page color. And you can save and submit that. Thank you.